Welcome to Ask Mason Velez Season 4, peeps. So, as you would know already, that we are just right about, like, three days away from the new year. So, why not uh, do another New Year special, even though it's not quite time yet, but we're just going to do it regardless. So, without further ado to ask shit, let's head on with the questions. So, I'll ask you... Uh, later on. Okay, now starting off with David the Shark Jackal. And he said this. What are your thoughts on Dio Brando? Oh yeah, the character from um, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. He is one of the most memorable villains ever. Even though that he is, he is a dangerous man and likes to take over and you know, he gets in his way, but yeah, yeah, good villains... Uh, not all villains are bad people. They're, they're just memorable. Some of them are memorable. So, yeah. Okay, Smurfette Cute said, Do you use a stick to fight bad guys? Uh, no, I haven't because I never fight with nobody. Especially with the ones that I don't know. Okay, user Lego 400. That's the user's handle name. Uh, which is the handle name of uh, Tommy Not Now Uta said this. He asked me this. Opinion on Simpsons and Family Guy? They're both one of the most memorable uh, Fox animation series I've ever seen. They're all they're all memorable, even though there are controversies. But I don't want to talk about them. Good shows. All right, Raid Venom asked. What's your thoughts on Christmas? Yeah, Christmas is about forgiveness. It's, it's about celebrating the birth of Christ. Not just presents, but I gotta say, Christmas is one of the best days ever. That just happened, like, every single year. And speaking of Christmas, I've done spent my entire Christmas day on watching three of the ECW uh, DVDs that I just bought this week. Yeah, um, the Rise and Fall of ECW and 2005 and 2006 pay-per-view events of One Night Stand. Best Christmas ever. I guess I'll ask y'all um, about that later on, too. Okay, Robo Mogu gave me a context. So I'll read it for y'all. And he said this. Well, I hope Pencil Neck will get jump scared if he fails to play Gerald's Better Basics version 2. But he is nothing but a red teeth homophobic loser. Well, amen to that, Robomogu. <clears throat> okay, Pencil Neck replied. I heard that, you robotic freak. So for that, you are... You said, nope. Oh, <laughs> you kicked Pencil Neck in a crutch. Oh, you... And Pencil Neck said, oh, you've got to be kidding me. And then you replied, if you try to do something naughty to me again, I'm contacting Ken Curb. To beat your ass up. And then he replied back, This ain't over, you robotic fool. And you said, Silence! <sighs> Anyways, here are the questions. <sighs> Alright, so now there's three questions so far. Number one, have you heard of Miraculous Ladybug? Yeah, yeah I do, but... I don't like the show, but I don't hate it either. But I do like the characters, though. Well, I mostly like uh, Marinette. And Adrian. Number two, what's what is your opinion on Food Battle 2023? Uh, it really brings back mem memories of the entire Food Battle franchise. So, it's been a while, and I sure like that Food Battle event from this year. Uh, from yeah, this year, which comes to an end, which will come to an end in three days. Okay, number three. Do you like heavy metal music? Well, fuck yeah, I do. Heavy metal is love. Heavy metal is life. Okay, nice Natalie uh, said this. Well, I bought the Cosmic Fury Morpher for Christmas. Now I can finally able to morph into the Cosmic Furry Red Ranger. And I hope Peters gets a call for Christmas this year because of all the crimes that he ever, ever committed. Anyways, that was the best Christmas ever. Well, I ain't meant to that, nice Natalie. 
Okay, Lord Forever. Four questions out of him. Number one, what is it about Pencil Neck is telling me to go back to where I came from? Oh, uh, yeah, that's that's just a racist. That is a racist comment, Lorik. Yeah, his answer is he's just being evil when I'm leaving a plot on world of Fort Worth, Texas. However, I am back to travel until now when Pencil Neck destroyed the world. It's official illegal because Pencil Neck gets arrested for tricking someone by telling them to go back to where they came from, and it and, it, and it's racist. Yeah, damn right, it's racist. <laughs> Well, everyone outside of the U.S. can come to the United States anytime they want. It's their fucking lives. Alright, number t two. What's your opinion on Chicken Run 2, the dawn of the nugget? Uh, I haven't seen that. Number three. What if Pencil Neck was in Candy Cane Lane? Yeah, the film in 2023. Okay, his answer is, in the start, Pencil Neck will be the first victim getting arrested for racial slurs. And racist things about that Santa is actually black on the entire movie. Oh, hell, that's just... Oh, that is so fucking racist. Yeah, even more racist than... Yeah, even more racist than Huey Freeman claiming that, that Jesus is black. Ugh. Don't get me started on that black Jesus show. It's... This is sac... This show is sacrilege. And shame on... Aaron Magruder for that Black Jesus series on Adult Swim. I know him better than that since the Boondocks. Sorry, Aaron Magruder, but I don't like that show. Number four, are you excited to this Beverly Hills Cop 4, Axel Foley? <clears throat> well, I have seen all three of the mm, Beverly Hills films, Beverly Hills Cop films. So yeah, I really want to see the fourth one. It's been a long time. It's been like over 20... It's over 30 years. Okay, Sam Super Kid 9000 asked me this. <clears throat> I am so fucking sorry about my fucking outburst, Mason. Merry Christmas, Mason. You're absolutely the best, and I hope you have a great time. Well, that really means a lot, Sam. Thanks, man. I hope you have a great time, too. Okay, Nicholas Peverty uh, said this. How would you react if someone got into a terrible accident? Well, uh, I would feel heartbroken. But if, uh, but if it has anything to do with uh, people losing their lives in a terrible accident, especially drunk driving, oh my God, I, I would feel more speechless than I, uh, than I would be. That, that's just fucking sad to have accidents around the streets. Shit. <clears throat> Alright. Uh, Ashley Anderson uh, asked me this. Now, here is my question. Have you ever played Street Fighter Alpha on PlayStation 5? Street Fighter Alpha on PlayStation 5? Uh, well, I'm going to go look it up. Uh, no, there is no Street Fighter Alpha on PlayStation 5. Maybe you must be thinking about Street Fighter Alpha on PlayStation 1 or Street Fighter 6 on PlayStation 5. But nope, I haven't played any of them, but I do heard of them. Okay. Artada the um, Dragon Flarian. Five questions out of this guy. Okay. Number one, uh, did you have a great Christmas this year? Oh, fuck yeah, I do. I even watched a documentary of the rise and fall of ECW and 2005 and 2006 pay-per-view events of ECW One Night Stand and uh, and that barely legal that came with the 2006 One, uh, one Night Stand pay-per-view DVD. All right, number two. What's your opinion on 2023? For me, it didn't go too well as I hoped because I've been diagnosed with lymphoma cancer, and then I had a bad stomach ache as well. Uh, it did not go well as I hoped either, man. And I'm very sorry that he that he had to tell me that shit. Uh, so, I hope you get well soon. Uh, yeah, as soon as possible, Artana. <clears throat> shit. Alright, number three. Have you played any God of War games? Alright, his answer. 
Yes, on my PlayStation 4, and I'm planning on getting God of War Rat Ragnarok off for my PlayStation 5. Uh, no, I haven't, but I do heard of it. Yeah, one of the best fr uh, franchises that the PlayStation team could ever think of. I'm taking taking us back in time in ancient history. All right, number four. Do you prefer DoorDash or Grubhub? Uh, yeah, I use DoorDash too, man. Number five. What's your favorite Christmas song? All right, his answer is mine is Jingle Bell Bell Rocks and This Christmas. Well, come to think of it, well. I just like that um, 12 Days of Christmas um, video by, uh, by the Anchor Grandpa. Yeah. Six vagina spiders, five broken teeth! Uh, Four teeth yeah. broken, three pinwheels, two broken shots, 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 three pinwheels, two broken I assume California. Okay. Okay, b bonus question on the two from Lord Music. Uh, number five, what's the worst thing that could happen to your past self? His answer, I would say that uh, some, uh, my son past uh, could be the worst things I've ever... Uh, being narcissistic, beyond related content on the salutes and rants, being an accusation of super agent for racist... Racism against Josiah 2021. Being rude against users with a bunch of cyberbullying. Hatred against Henny Plays YT and Manipulation by Aaron Brown. Being yet of door to explore a liker when Hector the Beyonder hates me for no reason. Being result as a tragic bashing and bringing up the past. Oh fuck, this is so many fucking backlashes. Oh, that's really making our heads spin like hell. Okay, number six. What movies uh, are you excited for 2024? Yeah, for me, Lorik, um, I like to see Beverly Hills Cop 4. Okay. Okay, uh, okay another comment from Lorik Forever 2K8. And I forgot to mention about my response on question five. The specific forget on my past also is... Alaskan is your boy is, is the one who manipulated me to hating Nico Mudrick and Mango HTF animations for no reason. Ah, oh, damn. Being a component psychological user that has got me up manipulated by Alaskan is your boy. For example, rude to Mango HTF animations for ranting about horrible Vion Wiki on Mira Hayes. Ah, oh, shit. You know what? This is why the Vion community should be fucking demolished. Even though I'm using rapper offline, but that doesn't make any fucking difference. Every community gets fucking toxic as shit. So that's all for the 2023 ends on the question before January 1st, when until 2024 is going to happen. So, Happy New Year to all of them, including me and you. So you too for the holiday events. I will be going to school on January 4th and 5th for now on. All right, well, thanks, Lark. All right, peeps, so that's it. That's it. We're going to fucking pull the plug right now. So before we do, i just like to give you all a question of... Uh, what are your New Year's re resolution? And what do you think about Christmas? So that's the two answers that, I'm, that I ask you. And I cannot wait to um, hear your thoughts about it. All right, so... Yeah, we're going to plug for real. So stay tuned at at 12 o'clock Central Daylight Time because we're going to have a New Year's uh, special of Plot Gun Skits. Yeah, by midnight. So I hope you'll know what's, uh, what it is because it's going to be a different kind. All right, peeps. If you got any more questions to submit, go ahead and apply them. And until next time... On the next year. This is Mesa Veles signing off. 
and you have a happy fucking new year.